Aries, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we're going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now let us dive right in. So you are in the process of a transformation. And what this means is you are building a particular foundation that's going to serve you for the chapters to come. What that really means is that if things are feeling a little bit difficult or challenging for you, this comes with a territory of transformation, right? So know though that what you are being guided through, what your interests are, what you're intrigued by, what you're interested in, whatever it is that you're nudged or called towards, do trust that feeling at this time because that's what's providing you the data to give you and the necessary foundation again to mm, guide you to towards what comes next, which we can see here is all of your desires, right? So you're in the process of acquiring and receiving and attracting in this particular abundance. So don't feel like you are not doing what is necessary. Don't feel like the work that you're putting in is going unnoticed. Everything that you do, every uh, every um, attention to detail, every, um, every time that you are intentionally doing something and it's for yourself, it's for the greater good, it does not go unnoticed. We feel like you feel like the road is long and hard and it has been long and hard, but trust when we say that everything is exactly as it's supposed to be and your words, you're supposed to be. Again, it's that transformational time where you're not where you're going to be and you're definitely not where you started. And right now is that in-between phase, you know, where you're kind of in the cocoon, right? About to kind of morph into this beautiful butterfly. And again, as we know, that is, does come with its, with its, that comes with its stuff, right? You know, it's it's not an easy, uh, it's not easy, but it, we can make it much easier when we start to look through the lens of letting go, right? So anytime that you feel like you're forcing or efforting or you need something to happen, say to yourself, let go, let go, right? Talk to yourself. I let this go. I choose to let this go. Let go, let go. Just feel that. Whenever your body is tense, your fur, your brow is, is furrowing, you're just, you can just feel that tense energy. That's where you want to let that go. See, universe is guiding you through the self-love process as we speak, which is leading you towards a relationship that is very abundant for you. See, right now as it stands, we feel like perhaps you were longing for a, a relationship, a connection, a romantic um, partner to share this life with. Um, and if you have one, perhaps maybe love returning to this particular relationship. Whether it's A or option A or B, love coming in or love returning, the number one step is that third one there, believing you are lovable. Now, the only reason why we don't feel like that is because we are too connected and identifying with who we are in this world. This is my name. This is where I'm from. This was my childhood. This is my body. As we know, we are just borrowing this meat suit, borrowing this human experience, this lifetime. We're just borrowing it to have gone through uh, particular uh, experiences to be able to collect data for our souls to expand. And this is one of those main pivotal moments that you are expanding through in order for love to come forth for you in your life because you are going through the process of learning to love yourself and falling in love with yourself. And this is step number one of all steps is now is a time for you first and foremost to take some time by yourself. Now is a time to disconnect from the beings around you. Okay. And it's time for you to really embrace solitude. Solitude and gratitude is the foundation for realizing who we are, who we actually are. Okay. Not the family we were born into, not our life experiences up until this point, who you actually are, your soul self. This can only become, this can only come to fruition when you know who you are. And this happens again, when you are spending time with yourself, solitude, right? Solitude and being grateful because grateful opens up our heart, being grateful for all things. The universe with a snap of its fingers can take the breath from you and don't let that scare you, but this is how it goes because the universe is guiding us, right? There are no coincidences here. So when you feel like you have nothing to be grateful for, the first step we can start is being grateful for the breath in our lungs because if you have any uh, if you really want to know how this game works watch some near-death experience uh interviews or some um 
uh, yeah, I guess interviews, right? Um, and, and, and you'll be able to feel the energy of what really is going on here. It gives us great relief to do that. So we would recommend that for, for all you empaths anyway, because it reminds you where we're from. Um, but I digress. So this is the time now, again, where it's time to disconnect from those around you. This will be your only, um, this will be the, the one thing that will um, interfere with your expansion process at this time is not claiming your independence in this time. So really taking space for yourself. I mean it, like we're talking like, like unschedule your schedule. You know what I mean? Like uh, unattached from all things you planned and really take some time for yourself so that you can really start to build the momentum of what life means for you. So you can start to prioritize what you actually want, who you are, what you want, and you'll be able to check in with yourself. See, the thing is when we don't spend enough time with ourselves, not ever do we check in with ourselves. Hey self, how are you? How are you feeling today? Uh, have you eaten the right things? Do you need something? Are you good? Like we never do that, right? We're always trying to see what everyone else is doing and, and what's going on with everyone else, but that completely disconnects us from our truth and from who we really are. And it disconnects us from the expansion that gets us to the abundance that is rightfully ours. So the universe here wants you to start to build some healthy habits in your life, some healthy routines. And the first one is having a ceremonial drink that really works for you. I particularly love um, coffee. I love coconut water. I love matcha latte. Sometimes it differs on the day, um, but there's specific beverages that really do help. Like for instance, I, there's nothing more exciting for me than waking up, getting a walk in or a workout in, just moving the body first thing in the the morning is really quite nice getting some morning light getting some fresh air right getting the body moving and then having a, a nice cup of coffee or espresso whatever it is and I sit down with my tarot cards and I sit down with spirit and I talk to spirit for like an hour and it's incredible I journal it out but the point being is that it wouldn't be the same if I didn't have something hot with me and I know that seems kind of weird right seems kind of like uh, you know attached to the material world but in order for us to create these healthy habits we need to have a, a why a reason and universe is saying create a, uh, create like a, a ceremonial uh, in energy, right? Environment. When we're excited for something, it makes us want to do it, right? So get excited. Sort of like if we want to start working out, get really nice uh, shoes and a workout outfit, right? Then you'll be excited because you're going to want to wear your new outfit. You're going to want to wear your new shoes, right? So it's the same way, right? Set yourself up for success and build in a healthy environment for yourself. Now, Speaking of the morning routine, having a, uh, when I do my energy healing, it's usually in the morning over this cup of coffee and I do it, uh, I drink some coffee, not too much stimulation, but a little bit. And then I will practice my energy work before I dive into um, chatting with spirit. And this is sort of what the universe is saying here. So creating a healthy routine for yourself, having a ceremonial drink, maybe first thing in the morning, because that's when the energy is nice and fresh. And that's maybe a good time to start practicing getting your energy work in, right? Whenever we have coffee, what do we do? We read the paper, the news, social media, we're always doing something that is so mindless or probably not very good for us, right? So at the end of the day, use your morning time, the universe is saying, use your morning time, coffee, tea, whatever you like, but that's sacred space, use that to do some energy work. Run energy through your chakras, it's like what, five minutes, right? Five, 10 minutes, you'll become very addicted to it, I promise you that. So. What needs to happen is to make sure that you are always in the awareness of collaborating with spirit. And that means not looking to your outside world for answers, right? Not looking up for answers, but turning within, turning within your own spirit. Because what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that you stay on track so that you don't feel overwhelmed, insecure, um, judging your outer world, wishing things were different. You won't feel like that. You won't feel like that because you will be connected to that part of you that is connected to everything else, which means that everything is always going according to plan. You you are abundantly loved. You are unconditionally loved, Aries, no matter what you do ever, whatever, no matter what choice you make, no matter what you choose, you are unconditionally loved. And when we are connected to that energy, we feel okay. Even though things might not be exactly as we desire them to be, we feel okay. We feel good because we understand that we're on our journey and everything's happening for a reason. And we're exactly where we need to be to get us to what comes next. So that's going to be the most important thing, right? Right now, understand that you're in that process of falling in love with yourself and to become your own soul's mate means you attract in your soul's mate. It means you attract in the abundance that's rightfully yours. It means you are just expanding your life from, um, from, from, from a place of, of where you really want your life to go. Like sometimes when we are getting our answers from the outer world, we think we want things because someone else is doing it. And at the time we feel excited because it's new. It feels like some, it could really work for us, right? We get that feeling of excitement, but it just never will because it's not coming from our own soul's knowing, right? So reconnect to your own soul's knowing and angels say it best, 
go for it. So they say to you today, your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this since its genesis and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed, right? So you're good. Your universe has got you. Angels have got you. But do try to implement the energy clearing practice uh, amongst your morning beverage. Um, as we know, it is just a peaceful time for us. So start to implement that in and you'll notice that things will really start to... Um, Take a change in terms of where you are picking up and where your awareness goes. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.